Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King's Pet Channel. So I received a lot of comments on the YouTube videos and also on Discord asking which stage should you focus on? Should you get the cards for attack or damage bonus? What about final damage bonus? Will it make any difference? And there's also penetration. Will it increase the damage as well? Today I am going to answer those questions once and for all. So let's jump into it. Now there is a lot of state that can increase your damage. Let's look at a card. The Drenilia card increase attack by 60. Hunterfly card on the other hand increase attack by 60. And also damage bonus by 120. The better version of this card is the blue card, button card which increase the attack by 3% and final damage bonus by 3%. There is also a card with penetration state like the yo-yo card or the deniro card that add penetration by 6%. Likewise, for magical attack, we have magic attack, final magic damage bonus, and also final magic penetration. With all of these cards available, what should you be focused on? Should you add on your attack or the final damage bonus or the penetration instead? To decide which one is suitable for your build, it's better to know how each of them affect your damage output. To know that, you need to know how is the damage calculated. I will be using my hunter for this video, but this is also applied to magical attack, so just be reminded of that. Alright, let's go to test the damage. I will be using the wooden dummy as the target. The wooden dummy has zero defense, so it is a good target to test the damage. We are going to test for three types of damage. The normal attack damage, the skill damage, and the last one, the critical damage. Let's start with the first one, the normal attack damage. My normal attack damage is 3401. There are several factors that contribute to this amount of damage. The factor that contributes to the damage are attack times the final penetration minus final target defense times final damage bonus times attribute damage times passive skill damage bonus times less damage bonus times size modifier and lastly plus the damage bonus. Now let's break that down one by one. My attack is 3176. For penetration, I have 1, but we want to know this in percentage form. So just tap on it and the percentage will be revealed. So I have 0.2% penetration. 100 plus 0.2% is 100.2% minus the target final defend. Now how do we want to know how many defend do we have? The defense stat over here is my defend. I have final physical defend 24% and below here I have another 8% final physical defend. This is from the equipment that I got. The clothes have final physical defend 3% and the cloak have final physical defend 5%. So all together is 8%. Add up together, my total defense 24% plus 8% is around 32%. This means that I can lower down the damage by 32%. So my target is wooden dummy. The wooden dummy have zero defense. Minus with zero, we still get 100.2%. Now we want to convert it to decimal form for easier calculation. 100.2% is also equivalent to 1.002 in decimal form. Final damage bonus is zero because I don't have any card that add final damage bonus at the moment. So 100% plus zero is 100% which is also 1.0 in decimal form. Attribute damage is one because I don't have any element attribute that can increase attribute damage. Passive skill damage bonus is one. I don't have any passive skill that increase damage. Best damage bonus is 1.05. The wooden dummy is undead race. I have 5% damage bonus to undead race from the headgear. Size modifier is 100%. Wooden dummy is medium size. Bow deal 100% damage to medium size target. You can see the size modifier damage, how much your weapon will deal to certain size of monsters here at the academy handbook. 
tips, modify your size page. Damage bonus is 60 from the creamy card. Now check out the calculator and put in those numbers. I got 3401, similar to the amount of the normal attack damage. For fast normal attack build, the ultimate goal is to have 100% crit to deal critical damage. So we're going to see the critical damage calculation later to see what factors contribute to the critical damage. Next, let's move on for skill damage first. I will use the focus shot skill. At level 1, it will deal 235% attack and another 400 raw damage. The focus shot skill damage is 8332. The factors that contribute to the damage are The damage formula is similar to the normal attack. The only difference is on the attack part, whereby we need to add the skill multiplier percentage and also the raw damage. The skill multiplier is 235% times 3176 attack plus 400 raw damage. And everything else is the same with normal attack damage calculation. Put in the numbers, the calculated skill damage is 8,333. If I round the number up from the calculation for attack, I got 8,332. So from this formula, the state that will add to your skill damage is penetration and final damage bonus. Penetration and final damage bonus should always be balanced. Having higher state on one from the other will result in lower DPS. For example, let's say, first scenario, we have 2000 attack and 100% penetration and no final damage bonus. The skill damage will be 2000 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 4000. Second scenario, we have 2000 attack and 50% penetration and 50% final damage bonus. The skill damage will be 2000 times 1.5 times 1.5, which is equivalent to 4500. So it is advised that you balance the penetration and final damage bonus state. However, this is in the case of the target with no or zero defense. For a higher defense target like for PvP or MVP hunt, you want to increase your penetration state so that your skill can bypass the defense and deal more damage. Alright, next is the critical damage. The factors that contribute to the damage are Everything else in the formula is the same except now we have the crit damage bonus and the penetration factor is no longer in the formula. Why the penetration is not in the formula you would ask? That is because in ROX, the critical damage is already ignore defense, so the penetration is no longer needed in critical damage. Alright, so I have 3176 attack and 200% crit damage put into the formula. The calculated critical damage is 6729.6. Let's see if our critical damage is similar to the calculated critical damage. The critical damage is 6729. The number is rounded up. There you go, we have the same amount for critical damage. So from here, for critical damage build, having more final damage bonus and final crit damage state will increase the crit damage. Having penetration state will not add to your damage at all. Now some will say, now nah, I'm going to get the penetration nonetheless to increase the normal attack damage if it is not crit. For the early game, when you do not have higher crit, that seems a reasonable choice. But later in the game, when you have 100% crit chance for example, that penetration state will not be beneficial to your damage output. So it's better to set your build right for long term so you do not waste a lot of resources later on. You may also notice that players will increase their attribute damage. For example, having more fire attribute damage for enchantment. This is because the attribute damage will also help to increase the damage output. The fire attribute is preferable because most of the MVP are weak against fire damage and fire element also will have ignite or burn debuff which is useful for PvP. 
Adding attack percentage will only add a small amount to your attack, while adding final damage bonus will add a significant amount to the damage. This is also why you shouldn't discriminate players with lower amount of attack without looking at the overall state. With additional attack on the other factors, lower amount attack can equally deal a lot more damage. I hope this video once and for all help you decide on what state you should get. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It is free so you don't have to pay for it. Don't forget also to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.